Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide online divorce mediation and valuation services in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we will discuss expert witness integrity and neutrality in litigation with C. Zachary Myers, a CVA and CPA in Winfield, West Virginia. He's testified and been qualified as an expert in the forensic accounting, taxation, business valuation, pension valuation fields, specific to civil, marital, and criminal litigation. We've known each other for a while, but you wrote an article titled An Unimpeachable Treatise. Can you tell us more about what this unimpeachable neutrality means to you, litigation valuation? Sure. Um, you know, I, I wrote Unimpeachable Treatise sort of as a piggyback to an article I wrote a couple years ago called The Pink Elephant in the Courtroom, which at the time I wrote it, uh, which I wrote it in 2017, I think it was published in 2018. When it came out, there were two sort of perspectives that were being argued with regards to uh, calculations and valuations in a litigation setting. And at the time, I wasn't really too happy with it because it seemed to be you know, two very general perspectives, one being a calculation is never appropriate in litigation, and the other being, yeah, you can do a calculation anytime you want to, but I'm not, you know, going to tell you how to do it or give you any real guidance, but you just have to use your own professional judgment. And I understand both sides of that, but at the time when I wrote The Big Elephant in the Courtroom, I wanted to try to provide a little bit better guidance. And fast forward a couple years, the guidance was really needed with COVID-19. I think that right now with COVID-19, there were a lot of people that were uh, under limitations of time, data, and financial resources. And those were the very instances where back in the pink elephant in the courtroom article that I originally wrote in 2018, those were the instances where I felt that a calculation is even plausible in a litigation setting. So the Unimpeachable Treatise sort of piggybacks on that and also talks about some of the Q&As and standard interpretations that speak directly to the topic of calculations in a litigation setting that the NACBA Standards Board just recently put out, um, I think last year and the beginning of this year. So I wanted to sort of summarize that and be a little bit more concise than I was in the Pink Elephant article. And it's, it's worked out pretty, pretty well. I, I was pretty happy with the final product. 